Have you ever woke up in the morning? You'd be shocked who's up under attack right Without now. Without a place. You'd be shocked who's emotionally molested right now. Spiritual espionage happening in your life right now. Dealing with every time you get ready to move forward, here comes that same old threat, that same old animosity fighting you over and over again. And that is why you come to church. It is not for the singing. It is not for the padded pews. It's not because you want to see what I have on this Sunday. You want something that I will say to help you fight back that terrorist that is in your head. Lord, I know I can do it. The devil wants me to quit. Drop out of school once again is all that I hear in my head. In this position before, but now I'm back here once again. Closest people think that it's all good. I just smile and pretend. I don't know how this will end. Don't want <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to Jaja's mic. If this is your first time joining me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. <laughs> I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. Because there's two things that I'm going to tell you right now after you receive these messages that's going to help you strengthen your mind for success. Two. And I have a conviction to express myself in this video because it's so potent. I do it all the time. You do it all the time. And it's human nature. Short story, a couple years ago, about three, four years ago, I used to work at a restaurant. I was a waiter, I was a server at Papa Do Seafood Kitchen. Going to school full time, Texas State University, and I always held two jobs. I was working at Best Buy at the time, right? And at the serving job, it was, it was out of my comfort zone, okay? Out of my, completely out of my comfort zone, I never had, ever in my life entered the serving industry until that point. I wanted to make some money. I wasn't making enough to pay rent. So I went towards this opportunity, got the job, learned how to serve. You know, it was almost in comparison with Best Buy, you got to sell. You serve as a selling you all menus and drinks. So that's what I was doing. I was building relationships and networking with my, my clientele. Um, I learned how to finesse the drinks. I learned how to, you know, properly uh, articulate my words to make certain things stand out. I hated it. So, as I progressed and got better at the job that I hated to do, I realized something. You're going to always, whatever you put your mind to, you're gonna get better at it, right? And so, here's the deal through struggling with my car, my 1994 Corolla that I used to drive, I started having issues with starting a car and I, I couldn't get to work anymore on a regular timely basis, so I got let go, I got fired. It wasn't the worst thing that happened to me. I loved it, I felt great. But the first rule of ment mentally strengthening your mind for success is this. We're in a state of homeostasis at all times, right? We want to be in our comfort zone. Homeostasis is nothing but your comfort zone. It keeps your body together, 98.8 degree Fahrenheit. If you're watching this video, you're sitting down right now. If you, your back is hurting, you turn some type of weird angle, some, some, some way that discomforts you, you're going to strengthen your back, right? You're going to strengthen your posture. Your body is automatically going to go towards something that feels comfortable. That is human nature. So, but here's the deal. We do this in life. So we get this homeo, if you have a pen, write this down right now. We get a homeostatic impulse. And what this homeostatic impulse does is our tendency to continue to go towards our comfort zone. So what did I do after I got fired from a job that I hated? I went out to another restaurant, filled out another application to another job just like this one, Uptown McCormick and Smick, and went for another opportunity similar to this one that I hated. <laughs> 
And I know I'm not, I'm not the only one that does things like this. It's human nature, it's normal, but we must be aware of this. It's called homeostatic impulse. And I tell you this story because when God gives you an opportunity to change your route, we get so uncomfortable, right? I got so uncomfortable with the idea that God was trying to change my, my hate. I was praying every day. I was praying every single day, let me out of this job. I want a better opportunity. I want to be in a better situation. But when God gave me the opportunity to get out of this circumstance, come on. <laughs> and so I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, too. A lot of you understand this, even though it's human nature. Right, we have to understand that we have to be conscious of what's going on. So even though God gave me the opportunity that I was praying for, right, I couldn't accept the challenge. I couldn't accept the responsibility. I couldn't see the blessing that happened at the time because I was so stuck up in my world. I didn't realize that an opportunity, a chance to make a difference, a chance to make a change, was just presented to me. Right? I was so stuck in this homeostasis comfort zone that I went to the next opportunity that felt like this opportunity. So what happened in the next opportunity? I started to feel like this opportunity. Come on, man. <laughs> we do the same thing over and over and over again and expect change to happen. It's not going to happen that way. Do not pray for something and when thou receives it, go back. You limit your blessings that way. You have been blessed many of times. You have been blessed many of times and yet have failed to see what that is. I ask you today to look at opportunities that have come about in your life. and see which ones you miss. You still have many right here in front of you. You just got to search for it. It's right there. Number two is what I call cyclocirrhosis. What cyclocirrhosis is, ladies and gentlemen, is our tendency to stick to our ideologies and accept no other view, no other opinion. So, in other words, I believe that this is the way life is. This is the way life is supposed to go. If it doesn't go my way, it's hit the highway. <laughs> How cliche does that sound? Right? We only understand or accept our own view of life. And we don't allow ourselves through cyclocirrhosis to accept other opinions. Now, the good thing is, the opposite of staying stuck in your own world of thinking is flexibility. And what flexibility is, is being able to accept other ideologies, being able to accept other information, therefore opening up and broadening your spectrum of life, your spectrum of thinking, so you can see more opportunities that are on your plate, that are on your table, that are open for you. God will always work and deliver people, deliver information, put you in situations where if you get out your own way, get out of that, that mentality of a cyclocirrhosis, and start to develop new comfort zone. Become comfortable with being out of your comfort zone so you can accept the information that is being given to you. So you can learn from new experiences, in other words. A new experience is something that you've yet to do. You don't know the outcome. Anytime we don't know the outcome, that's when we get uneasy. That's when we get tense. But that's what you must do so you can learn the experience. So anything you do through the state of repetition becomes normal. Therefore, you broaden your homeostasis so more things that are unusual 
to you become part of your homeostasis. They become part of your comfort zone. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the more obstacles that you have to go through, the less obstacles that you don't know how to handle. In other words, when God gives you a gift, when he sends it wrapped in a problem, the decision that you have to make is to solve that problem. Let me see the opportunity in this obstacle. <laughs> see, y'all got me jumping on my seat right now because... What I'm saying is, Lord, is that you have everything you need and it's been given to you. God called me out of a situation. He said, he called me out of, he got me out of that situation. And instead of me going this way, I went back. I said, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's over there. I don't know what is over there. I don't know. I'm not comfortable with this. How are you going to figure out what's behind the door if you've never opened it? You got a door in front of you with opportunities. How are you going to know what is on the other side if you don't open that door and step through it? I had another door to go through. I just had to open it and walk through the door. I was so scared of my opportunity, I didn't even want to knock on that door. I didn't want to knock on it. I kept it closed, I kept it shut, and I went back to what I knew. Let me get another serving job. I'll be good. That's what I know. Miserable. And what happened? Because I was miserable, I couldn't be productive. And because I couldn't be productive because I didn't want to be where I, I, I needed to be, what happened again? I got fired again. You can only get fired so many times from the same opportunity before you realize you got to make a change, before you realize you got to make a difference. So I'm telling you this today to help you out. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to you right now. I'm, I'm talking today so you can get out of homeostasis, get out of your cyclocirrhosis, expand that homeostatic impulse Go towards the opportunities that you're unfamiliar with. Open the door, step through it, accept what's on the other side, and become somebody that God is calling you to be. It's like, it's like the test of life, or if you're in the university. A lot of times you're studying hard, and you don't realize how hard you studied until you get blessed with a test and you ace it with like a 92 or in life if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner and you're studying sales and marketing a lot of times you don't know if your marketing tactics or your sales uh, schemes are working until you go out and you make your second sale until you go out and make your revenue for the month that's your test of life but at the same token that test or those sales both are obstacles, and if you don't go towards those obstacles of uncomfort zone, if you say, I'm going to walk the other way, and you're never going to grow, you're never going to expand. So ladies and gentlemen, today, I tell you a story, a personal story, so you don't have to go through what I went through. You don't have to go through that struggle. And I'm a firm believer. If you do what you're supposed to do, I'm talking to you. If you just do what you're supposed to do, start today. Not only do you change your life, you change somebody else's life, and you're going towards God's destiny for you. It's going to be uncomfortable, but do it anyway. I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. Make sure to subscribe to the next week. We out. Mwah!